Welcome to Paradise Botany here. I'm Joel Rindelob alongside the man, the legend, the Bryce Rouse, here to give you some botany swarm action against the Canterbury Red Devils. And boy, is it going to be a good one tonight. Am I right, Rouse? Oh, it's going to be so good. Um, if anything, uh, last night's anything to go off, Doc. Uh, if Swarm win tonight, they will overtake the Canterbury Red Devils for that third place. So. Ooh. A posse play, lots going on here. Position on the table in line. Last night was one heck of a game. We had Canterbury coming out first to score, but in the end, it was all Swarm. Yeah, Swarm just ran away with it towards the end there, getting some good lucky breaks. Kozak Deacon, the goalie, looking like doing his usual self. And yeah, the, the boys played really great towards the end of that game. They need to start like that if they're going to win this game because you know the Devils are coming back. You got that right. Let's step into last night a little time warp and check out the action from last night's game. Third will play off. And we're already at the stage where it's come down for that. But the majority stick with the, stuck with the same design as here they have it, Andy Hay around the D-man and what oh! a move by Andrew, deking around the defenseman, putting on some Where's highlight the, jets. Where did those wheels come from? But. Uh, Looking across for Dallymore, deflects off Hopkinson's stick. Uh, Perva now has it in the corner. Red Devil still playing a set up, a uh, power play set up, and Perva taps great, it home. Great uh, pass from the point there from number eight, Brown. Good heads up play to see uh, Anton. He wasn't exactly wide open either. He had someone right on him, but he good strong stick and just put it in the wide open net as Grayson, I think, was expecting the shot from the point. Mawson looks down low for Johnson. He was all on his own, but he couldn't get it to him. Andy Hay now with the so shot in. And, and they Johnson. score! Johnson on the rebound, collecting the rebound from Andy Hay with a floating wrist shot that was not handled cleanly by Carey. Yeah. Just sat out in front of him, didn't he? He didn't really dive on it, and Johnson Could've just left it there. Yeah, he's, Johnson just there, pounces on the puck and ties the game up for the Swarm. For the Swarm, game tied, one all. So let's see if they can do something here quickly. Didn't know what he was doing with it really. He got run off the puck by Puckett. There's Mawson now looking for someone. He finds Andy Hay. Andy Hay with a goal. It. He will be absolutely Ooh. stoked. What a one-time shot. I don't know if he got all of it, but it went in. He got enough of it. He He's come in did. a long way from his position too. Right from the uh, point all the way down to the opposite circle almost and that one I think might have just gone over the I don't know between the legs or yeah, over the just leg. over the left pad the leg, yeah. just under the gloves as Ollie Hay and Dan Nichols in a bit of a battle down low as Sysho chips it out of the zone for Graham he's got some space here Graham it might be best to take it no he goes for the drop pass oh, oh off, off the, the post. post that was number 93 for the Red Devils Hayden Bull with a Bull. great shot there. He's not happy. He missed a great opportunity on the Jason. post. Oh, it didn't go in. Yeah. And Andy Hay behind the net. Good pressure from Joe Orr. Comes out in front. And that was Bradley Apps. Just banged that one in. Looked like it was low block aside on Grace Harrison. Good pressure from Joe Orr down low there on Andy Hay. Coughs up the puck and... Found Bradley Epsilon on his own. So a very big moment in the game here to tie it up as Bradley Epps puts the scoreline equal with Canterbury, making it two goals to two. Epps with a nice hard one-time shot from that great hard-working setup from Joseph. Well, maybe he's got high level of trust and faith in his defensive units Yeah, that he is allowing that time. Ali Hay. Oh, we move behind the, and through the legs. That was a Flash nice. Flash of brilliance there. That's a whole like ba Jeez. Pavel Bure move. Yeah. Great burst of speed by Ollie Hay as he went around and both Hay Hayes tonight looking um, showing great flashes of brilliance with not yeah. just speed but stick handling and shots on goal. Yeah, but yeah. Carey doing well to stop with him. Up, comes straight in the bread basket of uh, Brown as he skates up now. He's got Eden. Can he find him? Yes, he does. Great one-time shot, but Grace slides across with a pad save. Victorious here for this third period. Yeah, it's been and a nice overtime, close game so far. Leaves it for Polozov. 
Follows off. Circles up high. He gets in the slot. Shot and, and scores. scores. With a wrist shot. Polozov kind of slung himself around that top of that circle and just wrist her over the blocker of Kerry. And that's the way you start the period on the power play. Yeah. It's kind of not the start you want for Canterbury, but they were on the penalty kill. And Swarm taking the lead here with a power play goal. Blind the defenseman with that thing. Well, 3-2 here. Hey, Hamish, we got uh, Bodney. Oh, as we got a close. Cross ice pass to Dallymore. It was Dally Moore. It couldn't convert it. Doesn't connect enough. Goes back up high now. Shot is deflected in the front. Is and and oh, and almost over the line. No, Berber. it does not cross. Bit of a whacking at the back. And Just couldn't. sitting there on that blue crease area. Yeah. Blue paint. That was so close to going in. And now Pev has run into on the boards. Puck it. Can he do anything with it? Still had the puck. And Kozak finally teases up. Puckett shoots and he scores. There's a bit of mishmashing around with the puck there in the middle. And then Kozak finally got it to the net. And that big juicy rebound comes out onto the stick of Puckett. So, who hammered it home. Botany rewarded there for the hard work with um, Mawson, Puckett, and Kozak. That forward line for the Swarm. So we'll keep you updated with that score line. Kozak Swarm. keeps Looking it in the another. blue line and they, and score. they score again with a lovely shot pass by Kozak to Janssen yeah. who taps it in five all as the Swarm yeah, quickly they, score again. They, they was not able to clear the zone. Kozak doing a good job just to keep it inside the blue. Oh, tried to kick it on there but chipped over the puck. Now Reese looks back to center ice. He finds his man who dangles and around scores. and... Great move yeah. to show control of that puck yeah. there. I, didn't I think, think that's Dallimore. I thought he lost that. It was number 74, sorry. Um, Harry Lowe. That's a Harry Lowe. I thought he lost control of that, but uh, he lost control of enough. Grace Harrison didn't know where it was going. And it went in the back of the net. So so Eden brings into the zone now. Leaves it for Graham. Red Devils still not pulling the goalie, which I'm surprised by. Oh, no, they are now. Eden, oh, he, no, the goaltender is making the skate back as Kozak's coming down the ice, and he's out of position. And, and he Kozak. does a great deke yeah. and scores. Goaltender Kerry was trying to go back to his net. Polozov did well to fend off the defender and then also make a nice move, depositing the puck safely and easily into the back of the net. Face off one by the Swarm, and now the Admiral, oh, sorry, Red Devil's breaking out of the zone. Liam Dallymore with it. Still has the puck. He sends it across. What a save by Grace. Oh. Extending the leg, right leg across, like yeah. doing almost a full split to deny that almost sure goal. Yeah, two periods of hockey they played fairly well, the Red Devils. It's just this third period really hasn't uh, been their period, unfortunately. And that'll do it, folks. Welcome back. Quite a game last night, Bryce. We saw some goals in numbers. In the numbers for the Swarm. Kyle Janssen plucked two of them. He's looking pretty good this year. Yeah, some good redirects in the shooting lanes there and some uh, goalie just put the puck out in front and a few tap-ins for the Swarm players. So they're going to probably want to do that tonight. So the goalie's definitely going to have to cover up any loose pucks. Speaking of tap-ins, we have two on display here tonight on separate teams. We've got Thomas Tappen playing his debut for the Botany Swarm, going up at his brother Luke, who is for the Canterbury Red Devils. Yeah, I had a yarn with uh, Tom a little bit earlier and said, you know, what was it like playing against the old team? And he's like, yeah, he, he really enjoyed it. He was a, a tad nervous, you know, playing against his old mates and especially his brother over there. So, but no, nah, he's, he's really enjoying it, playing hockey again. Yeah, good to see him back out here for sure. Some of his old mates looking good. Anton Perver started things off for the Red Devils last night. Do you think that's what Canterbury needs to do today to kind of get that momentum back in their favor? Yeah, they just need to uh, jump on the goalies early, get a lot of shots off early and get some good scoring chances. And then that's just going to boost their confidence straight away from the get-go so they can try to keep that up for the rest of the game. Speaking of the goaltending, we have another great matchup tonight. Tim Carey was in goal last night for Canterbury. Will be there again tonight. Made 49 saves. 49, that's a lot. That is a busy, busy night. However, 
On the other side, we do have a switch. We have Matt Canada in net for the Swarm. Yeah, he's just uh, got back from, I think, a holiday in Canada. He um, only arrived uh, late on Friday, I think. He didn't he didn't suit up yesterday. Um, but, yeah, he'll be starting in net today. So I'm wondering if the coaches have told him, hey, you, you're on thin ice here. But, you know, <laughs> hasn't really had a, a bit of a training to get back into the gist of things. So could be could be an early pull if he doesn't um, do his job. That is going to be a storyline to follow for sure. Matt Canada back in the country on some maybe not so fresh legs, maybe a little jet lagged going up against the Canterbury Red Devils who put in three last night. So something to look out there for sure. He does have a very qualified backup in Grace Harrison yes. as well. Yeah, Canada's a battler. He's He's that type of guy that could, you know, he could have three or four years off and he could come back and still rock it between the, and he has. Between the pipes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and he so. has, the former Dunedin Thunder product. <laughs> Absolutely. He's uh, the NZIHL's washing machine at the moment. Um, <laughs> gone around three different clubs or so. So, yeah, he's, I'm sure he'll definitely have a good game. But, yeah, both teams need to start this game strong because there's, there's quite a lot on the line, you know. Swarm could overtake uh, the Red Devils in third place and that could literally literally be at, at the end of the season come playoffs. That is right, because remember, the top three teams will make the playoffs. Seeds two and three will play each other in that playoff game, the play-in, who will then go on to take the number one overall seed, which right now is looking like the Stampede are in control. Once again. Once again. Yeah, Stampede not as, probably as good as they have been in recent years, but definitely still the team to beat, so... That be, pressure on them. That being said, we have two exciting teams, some young talent out there as well. Uh, and as you mentioned earlier, we have players changing teams all over the place. We have Joe Orr, who's playing for Canterbury this year, the former Dunedin Thunder product, the Phoenix Thunder product, who's going to be on display here this evening. Yeah, he's a good character and a great player, and, you know, he just loves to get out there and do his game. So they'll, they'll probably want something from him. And then the Red Devils also got their legend in Chris Eden, you know, been around for... 10, 15 years with this organization. Just an, uh, an all-round great guy and even better hockey player. Absolutely. We have some young guys. We have some veteran leadership. We've got all the action here. 2022 season on the NZIHL action here. Coming to you live from Paradise Botany. I'm again, I'm Joel Rindelab alongside Bryce Rouse. We're going to bring in you all the action here tonight for some exciting N Z I H L hockey. And we're almost set to go now, Doc. It's our first game together this season. Really looking forward to it. The Dream Team is back in action. And that, of course, is what you're talking about are these sides on the ice. <laughs> Red Devils versus the Swarm. We got Richie Hopkinson to take the draw here for the Swarm to get things underway. And we're off. And that's Joe Orr, who we went up against, and he'll just throw it in deep himself. And we're underway. Ollie Hay will try to leave it for Hopkinson behind the net, and he'll just throw it up the wall towards Janssen. Takes a weird hop, and now it's down low for Apps. He'll cycle it towards Eden. Eden tried to do a no-look pass, but Ollie Hay steps in front of that. And now the Swarm have a little bit of ice in front of him. It's Janssen. Too far for Hopkinson. And now thrown into center ice. That's Janssen on the far side. He gets around one man and now takes it into the far corner. Yeah, the line out there for the Swarm at the moment are uh, getting most of their points this season. They've got 18 points between them. So the Swarm definitely need these guys to keep working hard. A very high skill unit there with Hopkins and Janssen. And then you, there's a shot right on. Big save made there. Now up to Andy Hay, the captain at the point. He'll throw it back down low. And Polozov is there. Polozov does a escape move. Looking for a centering feed. Crashing towards the net was Hay. Polozov, a little handy work. Plays it off the net to himself and still in control. Has that puck on a string as per usual. And then drops it off to Mawson. Mawson, he'll scan. Give it right back to Polozov. Why not? A little back and forth action. And finally, a turnover. Looking for Chris Eden, who had a break. And then turned over at the blue line, and here come the Red Devils the other way. Trying to catch a swarm on a change. To Joe Orr, he shoots it, and oh! Joe Orr puts the Red Devils on the board, and it's 1-0. Yeah, the swarm giving the puck up cheaply there in the offensive zone, and the Red Devils just coming the other way hard. And Joe Orr sticking that one home. That's 
Great finish right there, and a way to turn that up the ice quick by the Red Devils. They had it at their own blue line, and in a second, they were already putting the pressure on Canada. So that's the first shot he's seen since getting off the flight. <laughs> and that's quite a way to waken him back to NZ IHL action. Yeah, the Swarm needs to do a little bit better there to keep that puck in the zone. It was a little bit of miscommunication, but hey, that's all it takes in this game. It is a fast game. Just a turnover like that at either blue line is always a danger zone. And so there you have it. The Red Devils strike first, just like last night. Just a minute and a half into the game here. So Red Devils have it now. That's Matheson Graham who's looking to go cross ice. And instead it's played back into the Red Devils zone. Now kept it in the line at Tappan. And then finally played out. That's Seychelles going cross ice. And now Red Devils trying to get something going in the offensive zone again. That's Graham. No pressure here. He'll go cross ice towards Lowe. Lowe puts one towards the net, but that's blocked by Simon. And then played up the wall. Now knocked back down. Here's a centering feed. Shot and a goal! Matheson Graham gets it on a one-timer, and just like that, it's 2 nothing Red Devils. Yeah, the Swarm look a little bit in disbelief at the moment. Two early goals. They're going to have to try to get back into this as Vordanov's showing a, dishing out some dinner invites to Lowe on the other side as he's not happy with something. But hey, two quick goals here, Joel. The Swarm need to be the next team to get a goal here, or this could be a bit of a blowout maybe. Two shots, two goals for the Red Devils, and neither candidate's fault either, as that was a great one-timer play as Graham found good position in front of the net and connected with just enough to get that one through. And here come the Red Devils again. Big hit, just missed there by Ollie Hay. Could have been a dangerous one. Instead, it's Sandoy to wrestle for the puck. He's got low on his back. He'll play it up ice. Now up to Hopkinson, and he'll just chip it in himself and try to beat his man. Instead, it's Hopkins. Hopkins, Hopkinson going after it. Centering feed is blocked away. And now it's Kozak on the near side. We'll go up top towards Ollie Hay. Plays that one towards the net. Gets through. There's a shot and a big save by Carey. Deflects over the glass and we get a whistle. Yeah, beautiful little pass there from Richie Hopkinson to Jonsson who was coming in at the back post. But Tim Carey getting over there in a hurry and stopping that. Great positioning there by Carey. Didn't give him anything to shoot at and the rebound was nowhere near the net. So well played there. And now we've got Mawson to take the draw here for the Swarm. Any Swarm fans may recognize him as a staunch offensive defender. Going to play a little forward this year. Yeah, well he's got such a good attacking now to him that he can... And there's another chance, excuse me, as Red Devils showing that they've got our, some feisty attitudes early. And there's Thuler. He'll go up towards Polozov. He'll bring it into the zone. An escape move here. And he'll play it down low towards Puckett, but that's over his stick. And in the far side, that's Dodwell to chase. And it just comes out to center ice. Hay retreats. First man there. Plays it over towards Stefan Tuller. Now up to Paul is off. As Canterbury, with a bit of a line change here, gives the Swarm an opportunity to get into the zone. Centering feed from Paul is off. He was looking for Vortinoff, but that's broken up. Now here come the Red Devils the other way. But a turnover again as Joe Orr was trying to go cross ice. And Vortinov has it, but he lost everything, including the puck. And it's Eden to center ice, and he'll put it in deep. So here's the attack from the top line of the Red Devils. As Chris Eden on the far side. Number one scorer in NZIHL history. Knows his way around the net. And now Ben Taylor working with it. But instead it's Joe Orr. Tries a wrap around towards the net, but he's cut off. And then Commons will play that up the wall. And it's Tappen. Tappen up towards Taylor. Leaves it there for Commons, and Commons will throw it around towards Vortnoff. But that's Lowe wrestling with the puck. And now played up to Hay. Hay's got a seam. Trying to find Taylor, but he couldn't quite get that one through. 
And now it's Joe Orr. Orr across the blue line. And then finally played down low. And the Red Devils will get a change. So plenty of time here for Sandoy behind his own goal. And he'll skate it up the ice. But instead, a turnover again. And it's Seisho who has it. And he puts Ollie Hay on the deck. Not something you see very often. No, definitely normally the other way, especially with Ollie Hay. Always a uh, physical player. And it squirts out to Kozak. Kozak going one on three. And it comes out to Hopkinson. Hopkinson with the seam. He shoots and just misses. Was looking to go high cheddar above the glove, but could not connect. And now Janssen has it. He again, centering feed there, gets through, but nobody home. And so it's Hopkinson who throws one towards the net. It's deflected up in the air and behind the net. Janssen now, centering feed. That gets through. And the net has come ajar, so we have a whistle and a face-off inside the zone. Hey, the Swarm might be down by two, Doc, but they look like they're coming out here and playing well so far. Definitely just got to try settle things down a little bit, get some attack going, and then hopefully get a goal. You have got that right. It was definitely the start the Red Devils were looking for to get on the board early and put that pressure on. But remember, a similar type of story unfolded last night as the Red Devils again started out hot early until the Swarm kicked it up. So we'll see if history repeats itself here tonight at the Hive. Boy, great hit there, Gavin Puckett. And Kennedy is forced to play it up the wall, goes right to Polozov. Now he goes up to Puckett. And now Puckett finds Mawson, but that's a nice poke check there. As that was Harry Lowell getting his stick in the action. Puckett again throwing, trying to throw his body around. But instead, loses the biscuit and Fontaine will play it up the ice. Up towards Lau. But again, Puckett finds a stick on it. And here's Polozov with a long shot that's deflected. And then again, somehow finds his tape again. Up to Tappen. He'll throw one towards the net. There's a shot, rebound, and another save. But it looks like Carey holds on. Yeah, Swarm definitely getting a few sniffs around the, uh, the goaltender. Getting some shots on, some rebounds are pouring out and they're trying to get onto those quick smart. And I'd have to say Mawson does look pretty good playing forward there, Doc. Definitely seems to be a natural transition for him as he was such an offensive defenseman. Not sure how he looks inside the faceoff dot itself, but that's a story we'll have to continue to monitor here at the Hive. So now played up, and that's Tappen who keeps it in. Throws it again towards the net, but that's easily steered away by Carey and into the netting, so we will once again get a face-off. And uh, Andy Hay for the Botany Swarm is 37 years old now. You 37 know, years 30, young. Yeah, he's not a spring chicken anymore, but he's in, really enjoying his hockey, and he's actually looking um, fitter than he has in um, recent years, to be honest. Wow. So that is the Elder Hay of the two on the roster right now. A long-time NZ IHL player here for the Botany Swarm. And in fact, got a bit of a tuck last night. His token goal for the year, some would say. There's a shot that's blocked, doesn't get through. And now it's played up the wall and out. And this is Ollie Hay to retreat for the puck. And Lau is on his face. Hay trying to shield the puck away from him and is able to escape. Now played up the wall. That hits the skate of the linesman. And now to the near side. That's Joshua Lau. And then back to Hay. We'll go up the wall towards Janssen. And it's played into the zone. No offside here. And there's Dalimar over to Eden. Eden all alone in front. And he scores! Chris Eden makes it 3 nothing Red Devils. Yeah, great play there, Chris Eden finding Delimore. In my opinion, Delimore probably should have shot, but he did give it to Chris Eden and didn't control it nicely at, on, first, at the, on the first attempt, but managed to get a shot off. And if I'm the coach of the Swarm, I'm thinking a goalie change already here, Doc. Well, once again, not much that Canada could really do because once you have Chris Eden in front of the net like that, causing chaos, Finding a nose for that open twine 
that's a dangerous spot for any tender to be in. Well, that's just the luxury they have of being in between the pipes. Hopkinson misses wide with a cannon. And there's a centering feed again looking for Hopkinson. And we have the net to come loose once again. That mooring looks a little greasy. Yeah, I don't think they're mounted by the um, little spikes that go on the ice anymore, I think. Which is quite odd. Well, in any case, we get a whistle here, and it will be a face-off to the right of carry. Mawson entering the dot, one-time defender. We'll be taking the draw for the Swarm. Let's get so, another whistle there. So a uh, whistle as the referee was still talking to Carey about perhaps the net issue. But it will be Perver to take the draw here for the Red Devils. With 11.50 remaining here in this first period. Behind the net, that's Hopkins. He'll play it up the wall towards Dalimore. Kept in nicely by the Swarm. And now dug out of the wall by Dalimore, and he'll just skate it himself. Dalimore up the ice. Polozov is on his back, but then Polozov loses the footing, tries to get around Dalimore, but instead it's played to the far side. That's Thuler with it. Thuler with a nice skating move to open up the ice. And now plays it up towards Polozov. But Perver was able to get a stick on that. And it's played just out of the zone. And then thrown to the far side. And it's Gavin Puckett who wrestles for it. Centering feed there was pushed away by Perver. And now played up the ice. Trying to make a connection there with Apps. Unable to corral it. And it's Mawson who has it. Cross ice towards Vortnoff. Vortnoff with some speed. He's the first one in. But unable to keep control of the puck. And now another... Long feed looking for Eden to try to escape past the defender, but it's Winston Lee wrestling with him. And then Simon has it. He'll go up the wall towards Hill. But it's once again knocked away. Now Vortnoff has a bit of time here, so he'll go behind his own net. And now chip it up to the stick of Winston Lee. Winston Lee into the zone. Puts one towards the goal mouth, but that sails past everyone, and it's Eden who'll just chip it out of the zone. No icing here as that had just the right pace on it. And the Red Devils will get off for a change. Now played up towards Winston Lee. He collides with Seisho. And the Swarm struggling here on this forecheck are just going to throw it along the end wall up to Ollie Hay. Now Hay up to Hopkinson. Hopkinson tries to steer towards the center of the ice. Puck is knocked off him and it's Chris Eden who's unable to control it. And then finally behind the net. That's Lau who skips it up the wall. And then finally played out to center ice. And the Red Devils will make a partial change here. And Ollie Hay with a little bit of room will take it into the zone. Ollie Hay now cuts towards the ice, puts it right on. But Carey had his pad down. Almost went all the way there, didn't did Ollie Hay? Showed a few skills down the left-hand flank there as well. Now center ice has Tuller with some good patience to find Kozak on the near wall. Centering feed here is broken up. And now that's Seisha who'll go cross ice. But Tuller once again gets a stick on it. And now to the far corner. Defenseman playing up. Mawson covers for him. And now it's Andy Hay. Hay with a little bit of time. Goes off the wall, but instead... It's Fontaine directly out of the box, and they're calling to the six men on the ice as that change was not as clean as they had hoped. So we're going to get a power play here for the Swarm. Yeah, the Red Devils coaches are not too happy with that one, but I think that it was pretty justified as they did have six players on the ice and the puck was near the bench. So that is definitely a bench penalty, and it'll be low to sit this one. For the Devils. So this will be Harry Lowe to serve the six-man penalty. And maybe a chance for the Swarm to get something going here. Down 3-0 halfway through this first period. Yeah, definitely a big chance. Only converted one out of their six power plays yesterday. 
not the best percentage overall this season for power play goals, so definitely got to get one here. So it'll be Sandoy at top of the power play. He'll throw it on, blocker save there by Carey, and it's to the near wall. Now played up top, but Sandoy unable to keep it in, so the Swarm will have to regroup. So it's Mawson with a puck. He'll carry it himself into the zone. And then leave it for Hay. That's Ollie Hay with a shot right on and another blocker save by Carey as he was in good position for that one. And it was a huge hit just off the play there by Ollie Hay, making sure that the Red Devils know it right in front of the bench as well. Ollie Hay letting his presence be known here, even on the power play. And now it's up top to Sandoy. And pulls off. Pulls off with a little bit of room on the far side. Trying to find Hopkinson in the near back door. Couldn't quite finish off the play, but once again, pulls off. Keeps the puck, and then Eden steals it nicely off his tape and is able to clear. Yeah, big play there by Chris Eden, staying on his man. Never given up and was able to clear that for the Devils. So here's Thuler has it. Again, Eden intercepts it. Now Eden with some room shot, and he just missed wide. Chris Eden all over the place right now for the Red Devils. And now it's Hopkinson. He'll give it to Janssen with a little bit of speed into the zone. Janssen again, wraparound try, but carries there with the pad. Now up to Kozak, a shot and a big save by Carey. All alone in front, but Kozak could not convert. Yeah, great work by uh, Tim Carey there. Seeing that Kozak was camping around the low slot area and he got over there in a hurry to stop Kozak from scoring. Huge save by Carey. Absolutely fantastic goaltending to keep this a three goal game. So just 10 seconds remaining on that extra man advantage here. There's a shot attempt off the face off, but that misses everything and it's out of the zone. First one there was Dodwell, but eventually it's played out the ice and there <laughs> is another dangerous play by Dowd straight out of the box. And then a hit by Puckett who has not been shy to throw his body around tonight. And Sandoy has it. The Red Devils were actually in a bit of a danger to get another penalty as the man Lau out of the box did not establish both skates on the ice before playing the puck, which is actually a penalty. Yeah, it is actually. But did not go called here. And you can could, you could see because he slipped on the plastic coming out as well, so. <laughs> it was a quite good viewing, that one. In any case, still three goal lead with six minutes remaining here in the opening frame. Swarm looking to get something going. And we have an offsides here as Eden tried to play it as the puck entered the zone. You can tell the Swarm are a little bit frustrated at the moment. They're finishing every single hit that they possibly can. They've got to get something going here if they're going to try to get back into this game as the Devils only six shots but three goals. And the Swarm 11 for none. Swarm a little bit flat-footed. They have had some opportunities, though, and each time Carey has stood up. Now in a turnover again as Eden had a chance in front. Red Devils have done a great job capitalizing on turnovers, able to convert when necessary. And finally played out of the zone. Give the Swarm a little bit of breathing room as they were playing a little bit too much on their own end there here in the first period. Now puck is at the wall, knocked out of midair, nicely by Apps, and it's all the way out of the zone. No icing here as the puck seizes to keep moving. Had to be played by Simon. Now up the wall. That's broken up nicely by the Red Devils, but again in offsides as that one hit Number 43, Chris Eden, while he was still in the zone. So we'll get a whistle and a face-off just outside the blue. 
Yeah, you got to admit, uh, Chris Eden, he is a legend of this league, but he just finds himself in such good open spaces and areas of the ice that he's just able to do so much damage by doing that. You know, he's not the biggest player or the fastest, but he's got good hands and he's just always in the right spot. D great hands, great feel for the game, and he is thick. He's thick. He is thick. He is hard to knock off the puck, that's for sure. So Swarm have it. Hopkins in. But that's stolen nicely him by Seisho. And then that's Matheson Graham, a goal scorer tonight for the Red Devils. And now Fontaine. He'll try to keep it in on the end wall. And he'll go down low. Looking for Bowl. And that's Sandai. He'll just try to chuck it up the wall. It goes right to the stick of Kozak. And now he finds Janssen. Janssen trying to take it towards the net, but a good stick there knocks it away. And it's out of the zone. Now Fontaine has it. He goes trying to go around. Ollie Hay gets it around and shoots it on net, but a nice play by Canada to come out, cut off that angle, and the puck goes over the glass into the netting. Yeah, Fontaine only had about a puck size of net to try shoot on there, but Canada getting over and closing that area. Not allowing that nearby shot to go through and any area of the net, so. And we'll have a face-off here to the left of Canada. It's Perver against Mawson with just 3.55 remaining here in the first period. And they've got Delimore situated right behind Perver there. Delimore gets it, throws it towards the net. A bit of a knuckle puck there, but Canada was able to get a shoulder on it. And now Mawson has it. He'll play it in the zone. Throwing his body around. Eventually takes his man out, but he went first. Now Puck just out of the zone. And Holly Hay will throw it in. Plenty of time here for the Red Devils to regroup from their own end. Play to the near side. That's Dalimore. He's able to escape one man. And now trying to get into Perver, who stayed onside just barely. Dalimore plays it down low. That's taken by Polozov. He buys some time, then goes towards Mawson. Mawson sidesteps his man, and then tries to give it back to Polozov, and instead it just trickles to the net, and Carey will hold on. Hey, the Swarm just got to keep doing what they're doing because they're getting good scoring opportunities and uh, have most possession of the puck at the moment. Need a goal, though, Doc, or? Well, they're going to need more than one. Yeah, they're going to need four if they want to win, at least. I'm sure the Devils will probably get another one at some point. The way they are looking when they are on attack. So here's Hopkins with it. He's got a little bit of time. To go up the wall. So that's ahead of his man. He's looking for Orr. Pops right back to Orr, though. And instead, it's Hopkinson who knocks it off of his stick. And then played to the far end. This is Lewis Commons going for it. That's no, Eddie. It's Eddie, his brother. So many commons. It, <laughs> it's quite a common name, you, if you will. <laughs> so apologies to Eddie. And here's Bradley Apps here for the Red Devils. Puts it on. Big save. Rebound. Oh. And a goal. Joe Orr with his second of the night. And it is four to nothing. Red Devils. Uh-oh. Start ringing the alarm bells. Four goals in the first period. The Devils are red hot. Here tonight at the Hive Dock. It's almost becoming a too steep of a mountain for the Swarm to get back. It is still very early, but you just can't be giving up that amount of goals early in this game because it's going to be tough to come back. Well, you said they're running hot. They might just be on fire. The Devils bring in the heat here into the ice-cold Hive. Well, the Swarm need to muster some sort of response and cool this down because it has been all Canterbury so far here in the first period. Big Morse on the puck. Now yeah, it's played to puck it. He's rubbed off nicely by Sean Brown. 
And now played out to the blue. And the linesman was a little bit confused on that one, but ended up making the call not offside. Now played up to Polozov. Polozov tried for a clapper, but a great play there by Graham to get from behind. And instead, we're going to have a high sticking call. So Graham a little too frisky with a stick on that back check, and he'll have to sit down for two minutes for a high sticking penalty. Yeah, well, just what the doctor ordered if the Swarm are trying to get back into this one. Another power play chance here for the Swarm. They'll get that first line out there of Hopkinson, Kozak, and Janssen. Alongside Sandoy and Molly Hay. So they'll have a minute 27 left in this period to try to get something back. Down four goals on their home ice here to the Red Devils. So that's Jackson Fontaine who has it shorthanded. He'll just throw it down to kill some more time. Chasing himself, but instead it's Ollie Hay. So here come the Swarm with some speed. Hey, he'll play it up to Kozak. Kozak into the zone. Kozak looking for centering feed. Gets it to Hopkinson, throws one towards the net, trying to go top. Cheddar again, but missed it all. Second time Hopkinson has had the puck in the slot and missed it in the same spot. Yeah, he's trying, loving that high cheese. He normally does get those kind of goals, but you got to get them on target. And here's Kozak has it after a strong forecheck from Eden. And then throw it all the way the length of the ice. Forcing Canada to play the puck. He'll throw it behind the net for Tuller. And Tuller with just 20 seconds remaining here in the first. Play it over towards Bortinov. Now to Hay. Hay just throws it towards the net. Not much there. Tuller tries to pull it on, but he missed that blocker side. Puck still alive with just a few seconds winding down here. Up to Hay alone, and it doesn't get through. That will be the end of the first period. But wait, we uh, have a call just as time expired. A cross check is going to be assessed to the swarm for a little too much of a happy stick. Yeah, that's a stupid penalty to give away at the end of the period when you're on the power play still for 34 seconds. So we'll start the second period four on four before a five on four advantage materializes for the Red Devils. But after one period of play, a fantastic effort and a very efficient effort by the Red Devil to capitalize on some miscommunications, some turnovers, and make it count four times against the Swarm. So a 4 nothing lead, the Red Devils are really going to have to like what they saw early from their side to bounce back from last night. So stay tuned, and we'll have more NZIHL action coming your way.
Welcome back to Paradise Botany. Game between the Canterbury Red Devils and the Botany Swarm. Canterbury got off quick, scoring four goals. Two by Joe Orr, Chris Eden, and Matheson Graham all got it together. The Swarm are going to need to get something together to get this back on track. And we're underway here in the second period. We're starting four on four. Remember, we had that cross-checking penalty by Tuller just to close out the second on the power play as the horn expired. So we'll be four on four here for another 15 seconds, and then it will be a power play opportunity for the Red Devils. So Hay has it now. He will try to play it in deep. And it's Sandoy who absorbs a big hit. And Hay has it. And out of the box, it's now four on five. Shot right on, and Carey, he'll cover it and get a whistle. So a minute, 20 seconds of power play action here for the Red Devils. And we'll see if they can add to their current four goal lead on only nine shots thus far. So face off to the right of goaltender Carey. It will be Perver to take the draw for the Red Devils. And it's won nicely. And then played out to the near side. Here's Seisha. He brings it into the zone. And now to the near wall. That's Hay, the first one there. He throws it up the wall. Takes a weird bounce, but still makes it out of the zone. And that'll be Dalimore to retreat. So Dalimore, he'll leave it behind his own net. And then to the far side. And brought in offside by the Red Devils as Nichols did not see his teammate was already entering the zone before the puck did. So we'll get a face-off right outside the blue line. The Red Devils will be sending their top line back out there with Apps, Eden Orr, and Luke Tappen to fill that out with Fontaine. So 30 seconds remaining here on the power play. And that's Chris Eden with the puck. Able to avoid two swarm defenders. Now leaves it for Fontaine, but that just, just bubbles off his stick. And Canada is forced to hold on. So four goals so far on nine shots. Canada saw a blitzkrieg of action, but he is still holding strong. Sometimes you might see the coach maybe change the goaltenders after a period like that. Not so much as it's because the goaltenders fault. Just to start fresh and change the momentum of the game. But instead we have Kennedy back out there as he is a competitor and I'm sure he wanted to help set this team right. There's a shot right on. Rebounds loose and finally cleared out. That's Puckett with it. He'll leave that one towards Commons but just in front of him and tap it will play to the far side towards Fontaine. Now Eden has it in the zone. Eden looking for a centering feed. Finds one wide low. It's Fontaine, but a great job there by Commons to get him off the puck. And now Tuller is out of the box. So we're back to five on five action. He tried to walk tapping, but a good stick to knock that away. Yeah, you're right before Doc. He is a the goalie definitely wants to stay out there and try to do things a bit better, but personally I would have changed. Here's a shot. Or for the hat trick, he scores! Ooh. Joe Orr goes top shelf, and it is 5-0. Red Devils 3, courtesy of Orr. And we're now getting a goalie change finally here, Doc, as Grace Harrison will be going in. In my opinion, should have come on after the third goal was scored, but nonetheless, she comes in in a 5-0 deficit here now. So a tough day for Matt Canada. Can't really blame him for any of those goals, especially that one, which was a turnover again by the Swarm. Yep. And a nice feed for a wide open, no defender around shot. Yeah, tough game for him, but, you know, he'll be back in training this week. He'll be back out there doing his thing again in no time. So the Swarm need to step up defensively at least as well as think about trying to scratch five goals across on this very, very upstart, talented, high-speed Canterbury Red Devil side. 
And there's a collision behind the net. And it's Simon who comes away with it, plays it up towards Hopkinson, goes through his legs, and is kept in nicely here by Graham. He'll go down low. That one's towards Bull. A little two-on-two -two action. Graham was trying to get that one towards the net, fanned on it, and it's right back to the near corner. And now Bull played up, and that's kept in nice by Reese. And then a short side opportunity, but that's knocked away. And then some more physical action as Simon throws a shoulder in, and it's finally played out of the zone as Hopkins has forced a retreat from an errant pass as that was the only way the puck was coming out because we have some serious momentum shifted here in the Red Devils' favor. Yeah, the Swarm, uh, hey, they're, they're looking okay, but not on the, the goal sheet, they're not. So a lot of, a mountain of work to try to get through to try at least even this up for the Swarm. So Hill has it now. We play it up towards Winston Lee. He misses the puck and only gets a shoulder from Brown. Puck to the far corner, it's Mortnoff. Mortnoff plays it down low towards Hay, the defenseman. He can't do much with it. And then it's Brown again to chase the puck. Pass intercepted by Mortnoff, but he'll just take it out of the zone himself and regroup here. Now Tuller has it. And then here's a nice play again off a turnover in the own zone for the Swarm. Could have been dangerous there for the Red Devils. Now Vortnov loses his footing as he was looking for a break, and instead the Red Devils have it themselves. Now up to center ice. That's Harry Low with it. And then Doddle in the far corner. There's a shot on. Harrison's forced to make her first save of the night. And now here comes Polozov with some speed. Polozov trying to get around Brown, unable to do so, and then finally deeks him out, makes a play towards the net right on, but unable to pull the trigger as he had goaltender Carey moving side to side. Now Puck still at center ice, and that's Nichols will throw it in. Now to the far side is Mawson. He'll play it up for Ollie Hay. Back to Mawson. Give and go here with some speed. Mawson. Back door shot right on and a save. As Carey read that one all the way and denies Kozak. Yeah, that pass came from Mawson and I instantly looked at Carey and he was already getting over there. He's definitely on one here tonight. He doesn't want to be pulled at all. I mean, why would he? No goals against? No, he has stopped all 13 shots faced at him thus far, and he has looked clean and crisp while doing so. So yep. the Hopkins in to the right of Carey, taking the draw for the Swarm, gets the puck back, but then is ridden off it nicely by Josh Lowe. Yeah, I actually saw Philip, the uh, head coach from the Swarm, just outside the changing room area and said, did you rev them up a little bit, mate? And he, he gave me the nod as in, oh yeah. So the Swarm may be playing with a little bit of pep in their step, and then we have a penalty coming here, and a Kozak goes down to the line on a collision, and that does not look good. Yeah, Epps will get one there, I think, for cross-checking Oli Hay around the head area. I uh, didn't actually see what happened to Kozak, did you, Doc? I was focused on the collision with Oli Hay, who took one in the face, it looked like, from Bradley Apps. And then Kozak getting into the zone got twisted up with somebody, hits the deck, and he is looking at a lower body injury. So we hope Kozak is okay after that. Yeah, it doesn't look like he'll return to the game tonight. Maybe, probably not though. And if so, this would be a huge loss for the Swarm as Kozak, a top-line player who's gotten some run with the Ice Blacks recently. A very athletic, very gifted forward who's able to put the puck in the net. So we had Kozak going in, and he tried to stay on side, got his skate mixed up with a Red Devils player right at the line, and that did not look good from a, a review 
So we hope that Kozak is all right. Yeah, no, nothing intentional on the on the Kozak injury, just one of those things. So at the end of the day here, we have another power play opportunity for the Swarm. Down five goals. They'll get two minutes to work here as Ollie Hay plays it up towards Polozov. Now Polozov with some speed. He's got plenty of cushion to work with, so he'll hold up. And he'll give it to Sandoy. Sandoy back towards Vortnoff. Vortnoff to Sandoy. He'll throw one right on. That one actually hit Moss and not sure Carey saw it at all. They had the screen in front, but were unable to get the shot through. Yeah, time's ticking as the Swarm need to get something going as that hit Ollie Hayes' skate and didn't get up to Mawson. So halfway through this power play for the Swarm, still yet to get a shot on net. It's Sandai who gets it. He'll play it up top and get it right back. So Sandoval on the sand boy on the edge trying to make something happen. There's a shot that gets through and steered away by Carey. There's um, heat on it there from Vodanov just before. Now over to Hay. Hay with a little bit of a crease. Goes back door for Sandoy. Oh. He tried to get it to puck it. And now Vortnov with another shot. Doesn't quite get through. Puck is still loose. And then played to the near wall. And finally hit off the boards and out by the Red Devils. And you're just starting to feel like it could just be one of those games here tonight, Doc, where, you know, your team plays well, but just nothing happens on the scoreboard for you. Nothing so far except all in the Red Devils' favor who have, again, capitalized on seemingly every opportunity thrown their way. Now Puckett in the zone. He'll throw one on and a pad save by Carey. Now Simon will play it down low towards Puckett. Puckett back up top towards Simon. Simon with a little bit of time to make something happen. Throws it in, tip, and a big skate save there by Carey as he's forced to get some work done here. Now Janssen has it. He loses control of the puck. Nice play there by Joe Orr. And then played over to Chris Eden. Eden tries to sidestep Vortnoff, unable to do so. And it's played back into the offensive zone. So we're back to five on five hockey here. And here come the Red Devils trying to get through Simon. Eventually do, plays it towards the net. Grace Harrison though, was prepared for that one. And steered over towards Thomas Tappen, the former Red Devil himself. Actually playing a little bit on his brother there, Luke Tappen, a little tapping on tapping action. Indeed. Not sure who the better brother is, but I'm sure they'll both say that they are the better brother. Well, if anything is to judge by it this weekend, there's a lot to play for. Absolutely. So here's a centering feed towards Vortnov. Wasn't able to get much on it. Back to Commons. Out of the far side, Vortnov throws it towards the net. Wisted Lee tried to get a stick on it, but instead is going to be able to draw a penalty as it looked like there may have been a hold in front as he was unable to get that shot off. So once again, the Swarm are going to be on the power play with a chance to cut into that five-goal deficit. Yeah, this one going to have to get these power plays doing better because, you know, one from six last night, I don't think they're doing that great statistically for their power plays this season. As Grace Harrison's dad is making a racket in front of the home crowd here, trying to get them alive and try to get the boys on the ice doing a bit better. Big hit on Fontaine there as Ollie Hay stepped up. So two minutes for holding on Josh Lowe. And there's a shot right on. Rebound was loose, but nicely cleared away there by Nichols. Or that could have been dangerous. So Swarm trying to show some life here on the power play. And Nichols tries to clear it and sends it right to Sandoy. to play it down lower towards Vortnoff. Now Vortnoff on the end wall. He'll skate it towards the net himself. Puts it right on. Shot and a save. Rebound still loose. Swarm are getting some chances here, but no one in front to capitalize. Goalie standing really strong too on these penalty kills. 
And it'll be Mawson on the far side. Mawson plays it up top. There's Vortanov, fakes the shot, goes down low towards Mawson again, but he was actually crashing towards the net, so he'll have to retreat. And try it again from the end wall. Up top to Hay. Hay tries to get a shot, but Eden deflects that with his stick. Great move there by the veteran. Yeah, Chris Eden reading the play, getting up and getting in front of that shooting lane in front of Vordanov to deflect that up and over the net. And a big shout out to Mary Harrison, which is uh, Grace's grandmother. She is a big loyal fan. She watches from home. So a big hello to you at home there, Mary. Thank you for your support, Mary. Let's hope for you the Swarm can get some action going here. And there's a big save by Carey on the near wall. He has looked sharp on his end. And another chance, a big backhand by Janssen. And once again, Carey stands tall and will cover that one up. Yeah, Gavin Puckett needs to be careful, you know. A little few things after the whistle. Doesn't want to get himself put in the box as the Swarm is trying to get back into this. Because you can't be playing silly buggers when uh, you're down 5 0 there, Doc. You certainly cannot be giving anything away for free at this juncture of the competition. So, 32 seconds remaining on this power play. It'll be Hopkinson to take the draw. He's unable to corral it, and instead, Eden clears it all the way down. Impressive play so far by the Red Devils. Currently being outshot, but not where it matters. Here it's comes Eden. Eden, turnover in the middle. Eden all alone, and he's unable to get a shot off. Great back check there by Winston Lee. Otherwise, Eden was looking for another one. Could have beat your mortgage today. He was going to score there too, Doc. So that's the power play over now. So it's icing. That may have actually been Janssen with the back check. The fleet-footed young man himself. And in any way, we have a five-goal lead still on the board here. And Kozak's back on the bench. Good signs. Must that, have had a sensu bean while he was in the... There's a shot just missed. But as you were saying, yes, good to see Kozak back on the bench for the swarm. We'll see if he gets back out there. It was a scary looking play, and hopefully he's all right. So Polozov has it, still has it, still has it. How many times do I have to keep saying that? Well, he's still got it. <laughs> Just lost it, though. And this is going to be offside as Tappan is unable to keep it in on the blue line for this warm. And Grace Harrison's dead getting a chant going once again. Good on him. And so, so how, how you been, Doc? Is life good for you? Life is grand. Yeah. yeah. Life is grand. Busy as you can imagine. Absolutely. But still enough time here to watch some fast pace NZ IHL action. Where would you rather be though, right? You got that right. Right here at the hive. So oh, here come the Red Devils. Some fleet foot there by Seychelles. He leaves it for Graham just past him. And then a shot attempt by Graham. Finally the puck is out and it's Simon has it. He'll throw it towards the net. Carey was able to get a glove on that. Maybe he didn't see it all that great. There's a turnover shot and a save made once again as Hopkinson was trying to clap her from close range. And now up to Sandoy. He's unable to keep it in though. And we got it a whistle and an offside. Had a swarm still getting scoring chances, just unable to get one in the back of the net. Maybe just one could absolutely open the floodgates for them. Probably unlikely, though, as the Red Devils are looking pretty good defensively. Red and Devils have cleared up a lot of those rebounds and things left in front. They've beaten the swarm to those 50 50 pucks. So if you are a Red Devils fan, that's what you love to see from this team. Yeah. 
Now Janssen has it on the far wall. Perver tries to throw that in. Instead, it's blocked. Comes right back to Janssen. Now up towards Kozak. Kozak back in the ice after taking that awkward fall. Great to see him back skating out there. And here's a turnover again. The other way, shot right on and a big save by Grace Harrison, who came out to cut off that angle nicely. Now it's Kozak the other way, going one on three. Kozak gets around, shot and a save. As Carey stands up to that challenge with a speedy Kozak looking fresh. Yeah, Kozak looks good to go, so the Swarm need him to get into this game a lot more. As they do a lot, a few other players, if they're trying to get, a, if they're going to get back into this dock. Well, one thing they're going to have to do is limit turnovers, as we just saw another one at their own blue line, forcing Grace Harrison to make a big save. Yeah, it's kind of a bit, there was a story of the first period there, the turnovers that the Red Devils could get off the swarm, and it's all started with that first goal as well. And once again, turnover at the blue line. But that's snuffed out by Simon, and now here come the Swarm the other way. Vortanov into the zone with some speed. Trying to get around Hopkins, does. Centering feet is actually behind Tuller. And it's Chris Eden who will just softly float it to center ice. And that one goes all the way down to the Swarm end. It's Andy Hay with a puck. Hay will leave it here for Tuller. Tries to get around Orr, but a nice play by Orr to knock him off the puck, and they're still jostling for position. And then a shot right on. Again, the shot to go! Bradley Epps in a wide open net, and it is six, nothing Red Devils. What are the Swarm doing, Doc? They're just trying to play too casual in their own end. They did that at the start of the game, and they paid two, three goals for it, and they're still trying to do it. What, what? are they doing? They are turning over the puck in their own end. That is a consistent theme yeah. of this game for the Swarm. You've got to learn from it. Two, three, okay, now we're at six. You know? Jeez. Bryce, it sounds like you want to give them a bit of a lecture in the oh, locker room right now. Absolutely, I'm, I'm taking this mic off after this period and I'm getting in that changing room, I'll tell you. Because this is not up to scratch, I'm telling you, mate. Well, I can tell you what is up to scratch. The finishing ability of the Canterbury Red Devils who have been able to finish on every single chance they've had, really making those turnovers hurt for the Swarm. And when, when the Red Devils are in the defensive zone, you know, playing it nice and easy, nothing too special, getting the puck out, getting some breakouts going. Hey, hey, hey. So it's a six goal game here as the puck goes through the crease. And we have a whistle. And there will be no change. As it looks like perhaps the net slightly came off again. So the net came off thanks to goaltender Carey just slightly, meaning the Red Devils will not be able to get the change. So fresh legs out here for the Swarm. Maybe this is the advantage they need. Need more than one advantage here, I reckon. There's Kozak, puts one towards the net. That one just bounces wide. And it's Seisho who has it. He'll throw that one all the way down, and this will be an ice. So once again, the Red Devils will not be able to get a change and have to have some tired legs out there with 4.14 remaining in this second period. I've got to admit, though, Doc, it's good seeing the Red Devils become a strong team again. You know, they, they were pretty dominant in the early 2010 era, era and then kind of dropped off a bit but you see them rebuilding over the years and they're actually becoming quite a good team again they have had a bit of a youth movement and they must be doing something right down in Christchurch because they are developing nicely some very high skill competitive players here on the Red Devil side yeah I actually heard Razor Robertson's actually been uh, checking into some practices down there after when he's got some time out from rugby he's at Al Alpine Ice over there and here comes Fontaine the other way, and he takes a hit from Kozak. Continues with a puck, though. Some great persistence there by the young man. And now played up by Janssen. Puck taken directly from him by Brown, who avoids a big hit from Ollie Hay. 
as Ollie Hay was looking for something. He looks like he may have a bit of a stinger himself as he comes to the bench. And there's another churn over in the zone. There's low with a shot, forcing Harrison to make a nice blocker save. And finally, Polzoff's able to get it out for the Swarm. He's got some speed, makes a nice move, puts it on, and a save made by Carey. Looking to go five hole, but Carey had the pad down and said no to that idea. Could be time to start thinking about that S word, Doc, for the goalie. Big save after big save. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking the one that ends in out. Shout out. Shout out. out. That's, oh, that's, shout that's out. the one I was looking for, yeah. Well, there's a shot. Big save once again by Carey. Great opportunity there for the Swarm, but Tim Carey once again is not having any of it. And once again, Gavin Puckett going after someone after the play, you know. Hey, I, I said that before, he's going to get... He's going to get pinged for it, and there he goes. He's two minutes in the bin while his team's down by six, you know. So. Can't be doing those things. Quite a transition there. We have you trying to jinx the goalie with the shutout word. <laughs> Unsuccessfully, and it backfires completely, as now the Swarm are going to have to kill a penalty. So, 6 nothing here. And a two-minute advantage to add to it for the Red Devils. So that'll be Puckett for a slash to sit down and feel shame for a couple minutes. And now here comes Seisho. He's got the puck into the zone. That's Graham back down low towards Seisho. Now back up towards Graham. Throws one towards the net. Gets deflected. Didn't quite make it through as it hit Hay. And now Ollie Hay will chase the puck. But that's going to be too far in front of him. And Carey will play it far ice. Trying to catch the swarm on a bit of a change. There's Dalimore. And now to Brown. Brown with a nice move to sidestep. Pulls off into the zone. He puts one towards the net, but that goes off the skate of Sandoy and into the netting. Well, at least the Swarm aren't giving up just yet. They're trying to get some plays still going, even though they are on the, the penalty kill. Good work ethic by Ollie Hayes tonight so far. You can see he's riled up as well. He's a guy that can definitely get something going for his team. So this will be Nichols, made to the far side to Eden. Eden puts one in, but a save by Harrison. See there, Chris Eden there on uh, playing defensive. Judy's on the power plays there for the Devils. Really good guy up high, can shoot and pick a pass out, so why not? And there's Fontaine going cross eyes, but that's deflected up into the crowd and a souvenir for one lucky fan here at Paradise Botany. He threw it back as well. Didn't want to keep the puck. Well, it is a dangerous projectile, so I guess I can't entirely blame them. <laughs> I thought it was almost coming up here. I was ready to make a... You're going to dive in front of the catch. camera? Yeah, Take yeah. Take one for the team? You, you could get your blocker up. I'd, I'd go glove side. I would have just let it, let it go through. Thinking you still got the pads on? I know. Those days are done. I see what <laughs> happens. It would have just gone right, right past me. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Those are things you learn at, uh, towards the end of your career, is it? <laughs> so back to the action here. We have the Red Devils. Near side, that's Apps and Fontaine working one-on-one. -on -one. Fontaine had a little bit of space there. Instead, holds up and he'll regain possession. Now, centering feed there, and a huge save by Harrison. Oh, my, Orr with a deflection right in front, and she just snatches it right out of the air. I don't know how she got that, to be honest. I, and it was in her glove as well. Amazing positioning and reaction time there by this swarm goaltender, Grace Harrison, who does have a shutout already this year. Indeed, that was uh, against the Admirals on the Sunday Avo game a two weeks ago. 41 save performance in a one nothing victory for the Swarm. Yeah, it was, she was huge. But that was a really good goalies game, to be honest. Hey, both, both teams are actually pretty good defensively, but goalies stood tall. The defensive prowess you may have seen in that game did not translate to this one. 
as the Swarm have given up six. So cross ice knocked out of the air nicely there by Graham. Throws one towards the net, misses everything. Rebound comes all the way out, but we're going to get a penalty and a charge on Ollie Hay for taking a few extra steps trying to line up Graham after that shot. So the Swarm down six goals are going to be on the PK again. It's definitely not getting easier for them when they keep shooting themselves in the foot, Doc, you know. Hey, we could hope for a miracle third period here, but I'd comfortably say now that Canterbury Red Devils will be taking this game here tonight to stop the Swarm from taking their uh, third posse on the ladder. A lot to play for. They know it. There's Apps. Throws one through. Gets in. A shot. The save. Rebound. Goal! With two seconds left, the Canterbury Red Devils add to their lead, making it 7-0. Or at least we're in for an uh, aggressive third period. Uh, should be some good hits thrown out then. Seven. This, is, this is the perfect opportunity where you bring a guy like me on. So to make it eight. Well, I wouldn't be in goal. You know, I'd be out there instigating some things. Instigated. Well, I can't say I approve of this behavior, Bryce, <laughs> as this is a competitive ice hockey match where the most goal scored wins. So right. that should be the goal in mind. This is true, this is true. But when the game's already almost done and dusted. Well, hold on right there. We still have 20 minutes of action coming your we way. We do, we it do. It is seven to zero in favor of the Red Devils, but things can change quickly in ice hockey and we still have 20 minutes for the Swarm to try to crawl bite, even sting their way back into this one. <laughs> oh, I don't think it's going to happen against a, a Red Devils team that's got the caliber of the, as they do. Like they, They're playing pretty well this season. I don't see them giving up. You know, It's going to be good practice for them how to shut out and win games, you know, because they did push the Stampede quite far in their games, just didn't really know how to close it out, but good time to learn. Well, a lot of action left here. It is 7-0 Canterbury Red Devils after two. Stick around and we'll see the conclusion to this action.
Welcome back. I'm here with Canterbury Red Devils legend Chris Eden, who sees his team up seven goals to zero here at the Hive, including one from yourself. Walk me through that goal you got in front. Uh, the puck just falls on your stick and just try to use a little bit of deception to open up the legs. And for once, it actually worked. It kind of like <laughs> it, fell, it fell through today. It fell through and seven times so far for the, your side. Yeah. Was that a goal coming in to start fast and just keep going? Uh, to be honest, man, we just want to keep moving our feet and keep things simple. The more we play with it sometimes, the more we back ourselves in the corner. We know what we have to do is just play simple hockey. And the more we focus on the defensive side, that just creates a lot more offense for us as well. So um, it's good to see it like paying off. And when we play our systems, it actually, it actually works. So was that what you talked about after last game, last night, where you started out fresh, you started out hot, you got the first goal early, and then saw the swarm come back. So what have you learned from that to kind of show the seven goal lead today? I just think yesterday we're, we're very hesitant. Um, we're backing off. We're just like, we're one step behind. Like we may have had the lead and we may have got up to the start off, but we, we, we always felt that we're just one step behind. The legs weren't quite going. Um, we weren't reading the play well enough. We weren't sticking to what we know what we need to do. And to be honest, I think a little bit of it is the ice. You know, it's so big here. Like, you know, just the blue line to the goal line is 26 meters or something like 22 something. It's almost like well over half our rink almost. So um, just the size of this rink and having so much space, we're just like, whoa. So just getting used to the ice. I got to say, I'm getting used to this mustache that you're rocking <laughs> right now. Is that going to be a permanent fixture? Uh, you know, it happened when I was a kid. We used to rock them, trying to be cool and look a little bit dirty and stuff like that. But all I know is I can't compare to yours. <laughs> you, had, you had an unbelievable mustache that must have taken you years. I'm telling you. All in a day's work, my friend. Well, best of luck for the third period, and congratulations on the goal so far. My man, thank you so much. Always a pleasure.
welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Hive here at Botany. We've lost my co-partner in Joel. He has a date with his girlfriend, so it will be just me to finish things off here tonight. Seven goal lead for the Red Devils over the Swarm. Swarm playing a little bit too pretty in some parts in their defensive zone, coughing the puck up too often and doing it too much. But hey, if there's a team that can come back in this game, it's probably the Swarm. But Red Devils have played extremely well up until this point. They're holding on to that third spot as the Swarm were trying to take it away from them today, but it does not look like it's going to happen as we're getting ready to get back underway as the ref is just checking over a few things. And once again, Grace Harrison's father getting the Swarm fans on their feet and getting loud. Yeah, here's Hopkinson, tries to get something, a shot off, but couldn't. As Janssen will pick it up, he's going to the net and scores! Kyle Janssen going to the net hard and deking the goalie and putting it in between the legs of Carey. So there will be no shutout for the Red Devils goalie here tonight. I might have jinxed him a period ago, but nonetheless... So the Swarm finally have a goal. As Lowe will get that out. Nice little backhand source. Quick shot on. Nothing really doing though. As Sandoy put on a hit. Kozak with a bit of a missed pass. Ollie Hay had to come and clean up. Sandoy with it looking for options. He's got Kozak. He'll rip one on, but that's misses everything entirely and Stefan Toller doing well to keep that inside the zone but it does come out Andy Hay over to Puckett he'll try to go through three players almost did good stick in the lane and we're going to have a penalty here it's going to be a Red Devils player going to the bin going to be Luke Tappan. So the Swarm with a great opportunity here now on the power play to try and make it a 7-2 game. As Polly has it in the corner. We find Vodanov, who's got a little bit of space and time. Grace Harrison's actually come to the bench, so the Swarm will have six on four. Why not, as they are down by six goals. And they now have six players out there. As Vodanov shoots one on, Carey sees that all the way. Mawson with it. And the Red Devils do declare that. As Tula has to hustle back. As no one's in net for the Swarm. Oh, oh. It was dangerous there as Joshua Lowe almost had an opportunity to put that in the net. As Andy Hay will have it. As Mawson was pushed in front of the net, there'll be nothing called on that. Here's a shot. Oh, Vordanov just misses everything. Here's Ollie Hay. Finds his brother. Oh, Mawson was right in the slot, unable to get anything on it. As there was some good real estate to shoot at, if he could have. Here's Andy Hay again. Shoots and leaves it behind. And here comes an easy goal for the Devils. Scores! Sean Brown. But he won't get one easier than that. And it is now 8-1 to the Red Devils as Harrison will return to net. Hey, probably they probably had to do that as they had to get something going. So getting six on four looked like a good option. But it's also a very dangerous one. And a big shout out to my mate Baz. He's watching in from home. 
as Tappan will try to find Kozak, but he'll just get a touch on it to avoid the icing. As Jonsson try to get something on net, but Luke Tappan was in the way. Jonsson's still with it. Puts on a shot and try to get it above the blocker on the near side of Carey. He's seen that before. Rip Hopkinson with a shot. Some good pressure here from the Swarm at the moment, but it's going to come the other way now. Here's Brown. He tried to find a centering feed, but no one was there. Kozak comes home and picks things up. Almost lost his footing, but the Red Devils will put that one in deep. Swarm still finishing every hit they can. As Hopkinson pressured there by Delamore. As the Swarm do clear their zone, but that's just dumped in by Nichols. As Tula will slow things down for the Swarm as Whitson Lee comes and picks it up. Couldn't get a pass off though, but stayed with the play. Whitson Lee doing pretty good. Here's Tula trying to get a shot off, but a good stick in the lane there from a Devils player. As Vordanov will just bang that one in deep and they'll go all the way around. Tula will be there first. Going in for the hit, not the puck. As here comes the Devils the other way, Delamore. He shoots and he couldn't get a good shot off as it's going to be a penalty shot. As I think it was Andy Hay was gave up the penalty on the breakaway which stopped Dallymore from having a golden scoring opportunity. And it's going to be Fontaine for the Devils. It's always quite nerve-wracking for a penalty taker as all eyes are on him. I hope he gives the fans what he wants with a lovely little deke move or something. Here he comes. Backhand and couldn't get anything on it. M might have had Harrison beat on the far side, but probably not. As her dad, once again on the near side, trying to get the crowd going. And he's going to have no voice at the dinner table tonight. As Joey Orr will go up against Morse the horse. Shot there by Eden, but that misses everything entirely. Polly will just whip that around for Whitson Lee. And Mawson just missing it. His, oh, Chris Eden tried to go through a couple of Swarm players, but picked up by Orr. Does well to keep it in. As Polozov will have it. Fakes a shot. Still going around. Tried to leave it on for Mawson, but Purva stayed with the play. Sorry, Bradley Epps did. As Tom Tappan and Joe Orr are going at it. Oh, centering feed. There's Apps, if he got something on, would have had a almost an open goal to shoot at. As here's Aquaman. Puts one on, block a save there by Carey. Actually had some good speed on that. As Joe Orr will have it. Puts on a move, but he's got two swarm defenders on him, and there will be a whistle on the play finally. As it's going to be Stephen Morse and a couple of minutes in the naughty bin for hooking. So the Red Devils will be on the power play. As Favura loses that one, 
to Hopkinson. Good turn at the point there by Delamore. Shoots, come, comes in and shoots, but nothing to trouble Grace Harrison. Red Devils still with it. Here's Graham. Shoots and a great block there by Sandoy. Down seven goals and he still wants to get down and block shots. That's dedication in my opinion. As Hopkinson will slow it down and give it back to Tula. And try to get it all the way down but Luke Tappan steps in, tries to find Delamore, but unable to get a good shot off as Andy Hay comes and dishes a nice hit. A shooting chance here for Joey Orr. Probably had more time than he thought there on that occasion. As Fontaine will find Bradley Apps and... We're going to get another too, too many men penalty on the Red Devils. So I'm sure the coach will be happy with their performance tonight, but too many bench penalties, and I think they might just have to pull out, stop the beverages on the flight home tonight. That will be something they'll have to discuss with him. So we're four on four for 46 seconds as no one's gone into the box yet for the Red Devils. It's going to be Joel Keo Cope who's going to serve the bench minor. So we're seven on, uh, sorry, four on four. As Sandoy will pick that up. Had Harry Lowe harassing him there for a sec. As Puckett has to skate onto that one. Goes around the back of the net. Sandoy just backs that, backhands that one in deep. Ollie Hay trying to get a shot on a tough angle. As the Red Devils will break out. As Saisho is going to be the first player there for the Devils, but Ollie Hay comes and tries to pick it up and dishes a good hit. The Red Devils bench not too happy with that hit for some reason. Looks pretty clean from my viewing. So the Swarm are back to five players. As Mawson will have it in the blue, he just puts it in, try to get a, another attacking player onto it. And Tula will find Kozak. Good to see Kozak back. Andy Hay rips one on net. There was a deflection in front, but it went just over the crossbar. Puck on Kozak's stick. He'll just rip one, try to go near side, but that... Carry seen that all night, covering up that tough angle. As Chris Eden will try, he's put that all the way down, but Andy Hay in a good position, knowing that he's probably going to try to dump it down. As the Red Devils man out of the box, here's Jonsson, goes to the net. Had a second attempt there as the puck wasn't covered initially, but it now is. So back to even strength with just over 11 minutes to go. The shots are 39 to 29 in favour of the Botany Swarm, but only one goal to count for it so far. As Ben Taylor tried to leave it behind for his man, but... 
Here comes Delimore. Shoots and a good save there by Harrison. As the Red Devils will keep it in. Pressure on as there's three or four Swarm players all getting near the puck as Vordanov's going to have a little opportunity here. He shoots straight into the arms. There's a rebound. Not covered up just yet. Big tussle in front of the net. It does finally come out as Perva will find Delimore on the right wing. He'll rip one on, but straight on to Harrison. She'll see that one all the way. So some end-to-end -end action here to finish off this game late in the game here in the third period. Definitely what you want to see from both teams. As the Devils win that quick shot on, Harrison sees it all the way. That was Graham getting the quick shot off the face-off as Ball winning the uh, face-off really well there. The Red Devils playing their right winger behind. Once again, Graham with a quick shot. Definitely a really good option. The Devils putting that right winger behind the centre as Puckett will have it. Gives it up to the point for Sandoy, who just has to bang that one in. Try to play it safe. There's a Swarmer looking to get a bit physical out there now. And they just left that one at center ice. There's Ollie Hay trying to put on a hit on Joe Orr, but He's going to get called for elbow here. Getting those arms just a up a little bit too high was Ollie Hay. So he's going to go to the naughty bin for a couple of minutes. And Chris Eden back out there on that Joey Orr line. As Andy Hay tries to wrap that around, but goes straight to Bradley Apps. As the Red Devils doing well. On a power play here, trying to get a redirect. That does hit the side netting. As Fontaine got a little bit on that. As Tula just trying to slow down time a little bit. Here's Apps. Just waits and finds Delamore who shoots and straight into the glove of Harrison. Sorry, that was Luke Tappan with the shot. So both teams probably want to finish strong as they still have a little bit of the season left to go. Here's Apps. He shoots and it's covered up by Harrison seeing that one all the way. As the faceoff will be on the far side, it'll be Eddie Commons going to work against Joe Orr who seems to be out there all the time at the moment. As Tom Tappen will bang that around, but no one there for the swarm coming up. As Fontaine has it, trying to find some options. Finds Apps, who just circles around. He'll find Eden. Back to Eden. Here's Apps. Shoots and misses everything entirely. As Eden has it, he'll find Luke Tappen. Apps to Eden, shoots and a great block there by Tula, sorry Gavin Puckett who lost the sticker at the same time. 
There's Eden with it again. And Luke Tappan doing well to pinch there to try to keep the puck in. Apps does well to keep it in. Shoots, oh, finds Chris Eden in the far post. Rebound, he puts it past the goal mouth. As Tappan unable to corral that nicely, so the puck will come out. He did actually have a broken stick on the play. Eden with a ripper. As Hopkinson will have it here for the Swarm, he puts a quick shot on. Comes off carry. And the Devils will get that out as Tula will have it. Still got a broken stick in the middle of the ice. And Hopkinson steals that. Oh, goes through the legs too. Did have Kozak in the middle. Andy Hay with a shot. Rebound goes to a Devils man. As Luke Simon will give it over to Kozak. Oh, just dodged a big hit there to Kozak. And the Devils will clear that out for the time being. And Sean Brown unable to get to that as Mawson was there first. Here's Rees. He'll just bang it in deep as he needed a change. And Sandoy showing a bit of shimmy as there'll be a hooking call here on Fontaine. So Fontaine will serve two for hooking. Swarm will go on the power play. As once again, Grace Harrison's dad trying to get the Swarm fans excited. Polly will have it. Saucy pass over to Ollie Hay. He'll shoot, but good blocker save there by Carey. Pull us over to Ollie Hay. Try to pick the puck up and put it in the net. He did lift it up, but just lost it as he was trying to turn it around. Would have been a pretty goal. As Orr to find his, his partner, but centering pass, only swarm players there. As the Devils will still have it. As Tappan found Brown, who just gave it straight back. And Tappan gave it away to Vordenov. Shot on there by Richie Hopkinson. Scores! Richie Hopkinson with a good wrist shot from the high slot area and trickled over the goal line. So the Swarm will get their second goal of the game on the power play. So Hopkinson will stay out there and he'll go to work against Puva. Kozak will leave that line, uh, behind for Andy Hay, who didn't think a pass would be coming. As Janssen will leave it for Tula behind the net. Finds Hopkinson, who puts on a move, shoots, and a good blocker save there by Carey. And that's deflected up over the glass. So we'll have a offensive zone face-off for the Swarm. So the Red Devils tonight have been pretty clinical when they have been on attack. Shot right on there. 
as Luke Simon will have to go all the way down and it will be icing on the play. As the Red Devils clear that, they got a two on one here. Fontaine had Brown lurking in the slot, but unable to get a pass off as we've got a little bouncy ball on the ice on this near side. And shot right on from Polozov. So just over four minutes to go here on the, some Sunday night ice hockey for you. A little bit of a blowout as the Red Devils got on top early. As Mawson will have it. Try to find Polozov going to the net. But a good stick there from Carey snuffs that out. Sandoy unable to keep that in as it was a pretty tough bouncing puck to keep in. As Eden will just try bang that one in, but hits Polozov before it gets to the net. Here's Fontaine on the near side, but Commons will put that into the Red Devils bench. So probably a game that the Swarm want to forget because they definitely know they're better than this and they have shown that for most parts of this season so far. As Hill and Eden go to work. Tula comes in, grabs that out. Trying to find a centering pass. He's got Hill there, but unable to get something on it. As Andy Hay does well to keep that in. But the Red Devils will come the other way. Here's Delimore. You just back one, backhand one on net, and that's covered up by the goalie. So 48 shots to 35 in favour of the Swarm. As Joe Orr will go to work against Hopkinson, Orr wins that. As Tom Tappan unable to clear. As Luke Simon puts on a little spin. And the Devils will have to touch up. As Luke Simon will have it here. Finds Kozak on the near side. Here's Hopkinson tried to put a backhand pass to the front of the net. Good stick in the lane there by Canterbury. And here comes Chris Eden. He can do anything from these kind of positions. Try to put on a nice move. Here's Epps. He shoots one right on. And good save there by Harrison. So the Red Devils definitely cycling through those lines here at the moment. To close out this game. As the Swarm will put their fourth line out there. There's a shot from a tough angle. Went straight through the slot area. A good move there by Red Devils. And a shot on, tip on. Oh, that just missed. As Hayden Ball got a really good redirect on that. And a couple of hits being thrown here on the near side as the puck finally gets out. And 
There's loads of pressure there by Hill. Commons with it, try to find Hill, but Tim Carey getting over fast to cover those areas. He is extremely fast on his feet, getting over to stop the near side lurkers. As Luke Tappen try to find Harry Lowe. As we're down to 35 seconds left in this one. As Tappen tries to find Lowe, but just unable to corral that nicely. As Whitson Lee tries to go through a man. Here's Chris Eden. Puts it on, shot on, misses, rebound, scores! Harry Lowe on the rebound. And that will top it off here tonight for the Red Devils. The score is 9-2. to two. They probably want to go for at least one more, try hit those double digits. So next weekend, the Swarm will host the Sky City Stampede here at the Hive. And the Red Devils will be at home in their arena to play the Dunedin Thunder. So it's not going to get easier from here for the Swarm. As the Red Devils will look to try take this red hot performance into next week. Shot right on for the Swarm. There's a rebound in front. It's cleared away. As Delimore, like he does, will come down here. He doesn't have time. Oh, offside on the play. The buzzer does go. And that will do it here at the Hive, ladies and gentlemen. The Canterbury Red Devils with a very good convincing win over the Botany Swarm with nine goals to two. Definitely not the Botany Swarm's best performance of the season. But hey, maybe they can learn a lot from this and try bounce back next weekend when they host the Stampede. So the Red, De Red Devils will have their tails up as they head to the airport after this. As the Swarm players thank their fans. Well, it was a pretty good game of hockey here tonight. 11 goals if that's what you came to see. As the Red Devils got off with a hot streak fast in the first period. Final score 9 to 2. Final shots are 49 to 38 in favour of the Swarm. Unable to put away uh, the majority of their chances. So definitely going to look to try bounce back next week. So we'll catch you either here or in Christchurch for next weekend's games in the NZIHL. It's been fun having you all here this evening. I've been your host, Bryce Rouse, alongside Joel Rindelob. And have a great week, and we will see you next weekend for some more Ice Hockey League action. Thank you, everybody, and good night.